Happy Wednesday, Facebook friends and Instagram friends. Every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, I go live with you. So hey, guess what time it is? Get what, guess what day it is? It's 12 p.m. Eastern time on a Wednesday. So I'm here with you. I'm gonna talk about top three ways to optimize your hormones. What the heck are hormones? Why are they so important? You're gonna discover, you're gonna learn so much, everything all about the hormones, all about the importance of getting your hormones to communicate effectively, right? So let's start there, and actually before I even go into it, uh, I wanna say hello to Maria. Maria's in the house, she's a rock star, uh, kicking butt in my Shred Fat Mastermind program. For those of you who have not claimed this book already, you could get it for free. It's my best-selling book all about intermittent fasting. Go to fastingcheatsheet.com and you could get this book for free right now, delivered to your inbox. So go ahead and do that. I put the link in the description uh, up above. What's up, Steven? Thanks for joining. So let's talk a little bit about hormones, right? I mean, we got Neil in the house. Neil is a expert in hormones and this is right up his alley. So hormones are chemical messengers. Right, They are like the traffic cops that you see in the street. You know when you're driving through your neighborhood or, or your street and you see that traffic cop directing traffic, you stop here, you go, you stop, you go. That's what's kind of happening with your hormones. You know, they, they have a job to do. They want to communicate to your cell membrane. We're made up of trillions of cells and our cell membrane is root cause. It goes as upstream as it gets. As my Mentor Dr. Pompa always says, if you want to get well, you have to heal the cell. So what I'm talking about here is going upstream. I'm not talking about chasing symptoms. I'm talking about getting to the root cause. Hormones are the root cause. I used to be obese um, many, many years ago, and uh, I was actually obese and overweight my entire life. And if you're overweight, if you have extra weight, that's not the problem. When I was obese, that was not the problem. You see, nobody in the history of this world has a weight problem, okay? They have a weight symptom. The real problem is the hormones and the metabolism. This is where so many people get it wrong. You go to a doctor, a conventional doctor, a conventional dietitian or personal trainer or whatever nutrition coach, nutrition guru out there, most of them are gonna ask you to pay them money, right? And then the advice, advice they're going to give you is, okay, we're gonna help you lose weight to get healthy. That is completely backward, and that is why people are yo-yo dieting, because you don't lose weight to get healthy, you get healthy to lose weight. So what is the root cause of weight gain? It is the hormones and the metabolism. So once you focus on that with these tips that I'm about to share with you, then a side effect is a weight loss, the weight loss. A side effect is more energy. A side effect is optimized hormones and crushing your day. I mean, how many of you watching this right now would love to live a long, healthy life with good energy levels, optimal fat burning, and you wanna have energy for your family, you wanna have energy for your business. I mean, it's super important. And we, are meant, we were created to thrive, not to survive. Let me say hello to a few people watching on here. We got my fat burning machine, brother Sander is in the house. Hey Sander. We have Alina, we have Steven who's rocking it. Steven, I'm doing a Facebook Live with him today at 5.45 p.m. Eastern time in my group. We have my brother Ari. Uh, we have Jazz in here, hey Jazz. Anybody else say hello if I missed you? Make sure you say hello. And okay, so. What are hormones? They're chemical messengers. We established that. We have over 600 hormones in the human body. Did you know that? There are some ones that you've heard of, like the sex hormones, testosterone, estrogen, thyroid. You know, you've heard of these fat burning hormones, the glucagon and all these hormones. I'm gonna give you an example of what happens when your hormones are wonky. When your hormones are not able to communicate, then you get weight gain, then you get disease. I truly believe that all of modern disease that we see in this day and age, obesity and diseases like diabetes, it stems from desensitized hormones, right? It's hormones that cannot communicate. They are tired, they are burned out. Insulin resistance is an example right there. It creates inflammation. Inflammation is linked to every single disease that we have in here. Oh, we have my brother Daniel. What's up, stud? 
here on Facebook and on Instagram. Good to see you, Daniel. I miss you, man. I was thinking about you, bro. Uh, here on Facebook, we have Valerie. Hello, Valerie. We have Macrina. Hi, Macrina. Hello from Nashville. Hey, Mary. I'm going to be in Nashville in March for the HCF seminar. Hey, Bob Purchase. What's going on? Anybody else? If I missed you, say hello and I'll say hello back to you. To those of you who are joining, if you want to get my book for free, my intermittent fasting cheat sheet for free, go to fastingcheatsheet.com and you can claim it right now and you can get it delivered to your inbox, okay? So I'm going to give you an example and I do this at my health lectures or of what happens when your hormones are not communicating effectively. Would you guys like to hear that or see that? What I do is I bring two people up on stage with me and I have one person simulating a... Um, cell membrane and I have one person simulating a hormone and I usually say they're going to be the th this person's going to be the thyroid hormone which is the like metabolism hormone fat burning hormone the the T3 hormone and then this person is the fat cell so I show this person being the fat cell and I, I have them put their fingers in their ears and then I have them yell at the person I have the thyroid hormone yell at the fat cell saying burn fat burn fat burn fat and then you have the fat cell can't hear anything, right? You have the fingers in the ears. This is what's happening when you have desensitized hormones. What happens if you, if, for those of you who have children, if you have kids and you're telling your kids to go clean their room and they're not listening, what are you gonna do? You're gonna scream louder. Clean your damn room, kid! <laughs> so we have the thyroid hormone shouting harder. Burn fat! Burn fat! You have the fat cell. I can't hear you because I'm gonna explain why it, it, this happens, but I can't hear you then. The, the hormone cannot communicate, it can't burn fat, and then you gain weight. You see, now, is gaining weight the problem? No, that is a result of this miscommunication problem, okay? I hope that made sense. If it made sense to you, please give me a thumbs up. If it did not make sense, I'll kind of coach you a little further in that. So if it made sense, let me know. So all our hormones want to do is communicate. Our cell receptor sites have, or let me rewind there, our cell membranes have receptor sites on them, right? And they receive signals. And in fact, every cell membrane has a receptor site for the thyroid hormone. The thyroid hormone is very, very important. Thank you, Daniel, I appreciate that. Thank you, Stephen, I appreciate that. I'm glad this is making sense to, to, to a lot of you. So I'm gonna give you three ways. I have my notes here. I'm gonna give you three ways to get sensitive hormones. We want sensitive hormones. It is very important for our health and well-being to have optimized sensitive hormones. So number one, we want to adopt what, what's called metabolic flexibility. And that simply means burning fat and burning sugar and going back and forth. The cell membrane could only choose two things for fuel. It could either burn fat, ketones, or it could burn glucose, sugar. Here's the problem. The reason so many people have wonky hormones and the reason there's so much obesity and unhealthy people in this world is that they are pure sugar burners. They're utilizing sugar for fuel, glucose for fuel, and they never tap, they ne they're never burning fat for fuel. How do you know if you're a fat burner or a sugar burner? Here's an easy test, okay? Skip a meal and see how you feel. I want you to skip lunch tomorrow, and if you can't function, if you have irritability, brain fog, you're hangry, you're going to punch me in the face, that's a sign, that's a red flag that you are a sugar burner, pure sugar burner. Uh, if, and then there's some steps to take, which I'm going to get to. If you skip lunch and you actually feel great, you feel wonderful, you have great energy levels, then you are officially fat adapted. Congratulations. Now, there's an accurate way to test, which is testing your glucose and your ketones throughout the day. But let's just do this easy test just for the sake of conversation here. If you are a sugar burner, which most people are, like 95%, 98% of people are sugar burners, I was, here are some steps to take to optimize your fat burning capabilities. Number one, I want you to look at what you're eating on a daily basis and replace a lot of the carbohydrates with healthy fats. So if you're eating a lot of carbs, replace it with avocados, with eggs, with um, grass-fed beef, with wild-caught fish, Replace the carbs with healthy fats. Do that, number one. Number two, stop snacking, for the love of God. Just have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, nothing in between. The average American eats, puts food in their mouth 17 to 21 times per day. They're grabbing a handful of nuts, they're eating a protein bar, they're drinking kombucha. 
Every time you do that, you raise glucose, you teach your body to be a sugar burner. As we just established, we don't wanna be a sugar burner, at least not primarily. So stop snacking, eat more healthy fats, eat less carbs, and eat more green leafy vegetables. Awesome, David said he's gonna start doing that. Good job, brother David. So that's rule number one. You do that for 14 to 21 days, and then you retest and skip that meal and see how you feel. And if you feel great this time, congratulations, you're fat adapted, right? So this is a powerful way to start helping your hormones communicate effectively. You were born to be a fat burner. Burning fat is your birthright, okay? When you were a baby, you were being breastfed, and guess what? Breast milk has a whole bunch of healthy fats and saturated fats. The baby needs those ketones for the development of the brain because the brain is 60% fat. Fat is important, my friends. Fat is your friend. Let me say hello to some people who hopped on in here. Hey, Liliana. Liliana's a freaking rock star. She is so committed to her health. It is inspiring. We have Joy. Hi, Joy. Thank you for joining. Valerie says, poor pancreas. Yeah, you're right. That's why many people are getting, um, people are getting type 2 diabetic, which leads to type 1 diabetic because they're burning out the beta cells in their pancreas, like Valerie hinted. So if you missed it, I'm giving away my book for free. Go to fastingcheatsheet.com. That's fastingcheatsheet.com. You can get it for free. So number one was to get that metabolic flexibility. You want to teach your hormones to be like a 40-year-old yogi, right? If you were a 40-year-old yogi, you are very flexible. You could go in, you are very flexible. You could go in and out of positions. If you're a 40-year-old, uh, not a 40-year-old, but a 40-year yogi. So you want to be your hormone, you want to teach your hormones to have this flexibility. You want to burn fat primarily, and then you want to burn sugar when you need to. You go back and forth, right? You have that flexibility. So that's rule number one of optimizing your hormones. We have Daniel in here. Hey Daniel Kirkshire, Kirkshner, thank you so much for joining the live stream. We really appreciate you. Okay. Step number two, look at the toxins in your environment, in your diet. Toxins are everywhere. It is super important because when you start to go and to become a fat burner, you're going to burn fat cells, which is great. You want that. Guess what? Fat cells store toxins. And when you start to burn them, they're dumped out into the bloodstream. So it's very important to have a detox protocol in place. I teach all my clients the proper steps so that so the toxins are not recirculating, right? Steven, we're going to talk about this today because this is what's happening to you right now. And that's why you don't feel so great my brother Steven, we're gonna talk about it later. So here are some ways to help your body remove toxins that are practical, okay? I can get into this, some supplements and some steps, but that's more for my, my clients. I'm gonna give you some practical ways. Eat more bitter rich foods, because bitters are so great for your bile production. Let's talk about bile, because bile is beautiful. Bile is what's produced by the liver, and it's stored in your gallbladder, and it's released to break down fat. Since we have just become fat adapted and we're eating more healthy fats, we wanna make sure we're able to break it down to get the maximum benefits and to remove those toxins out of the bloodstream as you continue to lose weight. So eat more foods like um, arugula, dark chocolate, organic coffee, ginger, radicchio, all these things are great. Also take a high quality bile, or I should say digestive, supplement that has ox bile in it and other properties in it. I like Thorn Biogest and um, Bio Builder. These are two great supplements. And then also drinking digestive bitters with water throughout the day. If you do this, you are gonna feel amazing. You're not gonna let those toxins recirculate around your bloodstream. You're gonna dump it out. Because here is a fact, and I want you to remember this point. The amount of healthy bile that you have is in direct proportion to the amount of toxins you could remove from your body. And toxins are everywhere, okay? Let me give you an example. This is gonna blow your mind. If you are taking a shower and you're not, you don't have a shower filter, guess what? There's traces of toxins all over that water. There's traces of birth control pills and medication and nasty stuff which is going on your skin. And whatever goes on your skin goes into your bloodstream. All right, you're being attacked by targeting. Uh, toxin. So use a shower filter. If you're using hand soap that has a whole bunch of chemicals in it, same thing. If you're eating non-organic food, same thing. If you are breathing in fumes from cars, same thing. If you're stressing yourself out, it's a stressor. 
which is making it even worse for toxins to enter your system, easier for toxins to enter your system. So it is rampant. It is rampant. Everybody has toxins inside of them, okay? And here's what happens when toxins enter your body because we're talking about hormones. So let's relate it to what happens when they enter your body. The cell membrane has receptor sites for hormones to communicate, right? Right, they have these receptor sites. Hormones attach and they get the job done. When you have toxins enter your body, these toxins mimic the same structure of hormones that go on the receptor site. It's kind of like a lock and key mechanism. It unlocks the hormone, the receptor site, and goes into your cell membrane and camps out in there. Then you have the thyroid hormone, whatever hormone that wants to communicate, and it can't get inside because there's toxins. That's why it's important to eat these bitter rich foods, take these supplements, produce that healthy bile to get that out of there. The liver wants to get it out of there. The kidneys want to help detox you. It's very important to have healthy bile. Don't overlook that step. Valerie says non-stick pans. Yeah, non-stick pans. You're getting all those toxins. That's a great point. Liliana says, ew. We have my brother, Zach. Hey, Zach. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, dark chocolate, 85% or more. I'm a fan of sick and tired, pancreas, no bile, exactly. What is considered a bitter? Uh, a bitter is, bitter rich foods are arugula, dark chocolate, coffee, ginger. Um, I have a list in our group. Stephen, I'm gonna tag you in it so you see which ones I'm talking about. There's also something called Moonshine. It's a product called Moonshine Digest, <clears throat> Digestive Bitters. Uh, I love them because you just drink it with water throughout the day and it helps you produce healthy bile. Okay, so I've given you two steps. I have one more to go. Has this, has this been helpful so far, um, guys and gals? I, if it has, please share this video and I would really appreciate it. I'm gonna give you my last step right now, but if it's been helpful for, up until this point, please hit that share button. Uh, I'm on a mission to impact the lives of 1 billion people and every share will help the lives of many other people. So please hit that share button. Give me some hearts. Give me some likes. I see it. Thank you guys. Thank you, Sander. Thank you, Steven. Okay. Does anybody know, for those of you who are my clients in here, you probably know this answer, but do you know where 98% of fat burning takes place? Put your answers down below. If you know the answer, it's fine to put it too. Where does 98% of fat burning take place? What do you think? Where do you burn 98% of fat burning? Put the answer down below and let's see who gets it. Steven says sleep, okay, anybody else? Sandra says during sleep. Yeah, you have some smart cookies over here. Some smart keto cookies. Ari says sleep, yep, some smart keto cookies. Valerie says lungs. Anybody else? Anybody else want to venture to guess? So it's, it is sleep, but specifically delta deep sleep. So hear this, I'm gonna repeat it. 98% of fat burning takes place during sleep. Not when you're at the gym working out, not when I'm moving around here. No, no, no. 98% of fat burning, David, you got it right, takes place during sleep. How is this possible, Ben? That doesn't make sense. Well, we activate our top fat, our top six fat burning hormones activate during deep sleep. Okay. These are thyroid T3, IGF-1, glucagon, human growth hormone. Here's how it works. When we're sleeping, we go through four different stages of sleep, right? We have stage one, two, three, four. It's like a cycle of sleep. And then we go, we dip out of that stage and go back into it. So they're kind of like waves. We, uh, we want to aim for four to five of these waves per night, which is, these are 90 minute waves. So that's about eight hours, right? Seven to nine hours, I should say. If you are getting quality sleep and you're getting five waves, you're really burning a lot of fat. You're getting all these restorative properties taking place. If you're actually not getting seven to nine hours of quality sleep, but you're getting five hours, maybe you're sacrificing on your sleep. Maybe you're just catching two waves and you're missing out on three. And you're wondering, why am I so pudgy? Why is my energy level so low? So low? Why can't I build muscle, et cetera, et cetera? Well, you got to catch those waves, baby. Sleep is so important. I believe, I wrote a book all about sleep. I don't even know where it is. I should have it somewhere around here. Sleep is more important than exercise and diet combined. Okay, because you could be doing everything right. You could be eating super healthy. You could be eating all these bio-rich foods, or I should say bitter-rich foods, and 
and exercising like a beast if you're not sleeping good and not gonna get the results you want. That's why it's important to emphasize and prioritize your sleep. I'm gonna give you some ways to do that right now. Seven to nine hours is the sweet spot. Everybody's different. Somebody might need seven, somebody might need nine or eight and a half. For me, it's seven and a half, that's my number. Some ways for you to get good deep sleep tonight, avoid stimulation at nighttime. You need 60 beats per minute or less of your heart rate in order to fall asleep. So if you're on Facebook checking your notifications, getting angry because the president said something that pissed you off, and you're getting that heart rate jacked up, it's gonna be hard to fall asleep. Also, you're stimulating your cortisol and suppressing melatonin. This is not good for good sleep. You want, they have an inverted relationship. You want cortisol up, excuse me, you want melatonin up and cortisol down at night, okay? The problem is that we have manufactured a brand new daytime in this day and age with all this light, all this stimulation. So power down that MacBook, put your iPhone on airplane mode, shut it down, read a book by candlelight, wear blue blocker glasses like I do every night. You're gonna produce melatonin, you're gonna help suppress cortisol, and you're gonna get deep sleep where you activate these top six fat burning hormones. Those are three powerful steps for you to take charge over your life. Remember, we have 600 plus hormones and they wanna communicate. They want to just do the job of helping you achieve perfect health. Perfect health is just getting your body to function the way that it was designed to function. Mother Nature, God, the universe, whatever you believe in, you were created for greatness. You were created to thrive, not for disease, not for uh, survive, to just merely get by and survive. No, you were meant to do make an impact on this planet. If you are just joining in here, say hello to me uh, so I can acknowledge you and also get my book for free. I wrote this book called The Intermittent Fasting Cheat Sheet. It'll teach you. So this book, I over the years, I've been doing fasting for five years, five plus years now. And I've been getting a lot of questions about fasting. Are you gonna burn muscle? Are you gonna slow down your metabolism? What if you're a woman? What if you have this? What if you have that? So I decided to get the top 20 questions that I've received on intermittent fasting and put it into a book and answer it with science. It's a very easy read. You can read this like in an hour and learn a lot about fasting. So go to fastingcheatsheet.com. And uh, any other questions for me? You know, I gave you a three-prong approach to optimizing your hormones. And when you take care of that, the side effect is weight loss. The side effect is more energy, okay? If you come across somebody and they're telling you that they wanna help you lose weight to get healthy, ask them, isn't that backwards? Don't you get healthy to lose weight? <laughs> and then chuckle and see what they have to say for that. Because if you go to Jenny Craig, if you go to a lot of personal trainers, they're gonna help you, they're gonna tell you to lose weight to get healthy, okay? It's, 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 it's a broken system. It's a flawed approach. They're gonna tell you to count your calories and be in a deficit and blah, 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 blah. I got news for you. The human body has no receptor sites and no mechanism to count calories. Focusing on calories is a distraction to what's really important. Ca the human body is not a calculator. The human body is not a math equation. The human body is not a bank account, okay? The human body is a very unique, complex chemistry lab, okay? Eight billion people on planet Earth, there's about eight billion people on planet Earth, every single one of us has unique nutritional needs. There's no cookie cutter approach to your health. I will never ever tell you to just count your calories and watch your macros and blah, 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 blah. That'll yield you only short-term results which will end up being long-term frust frustration and yo-yo dieting, okay? I've been there, I've seen it plenty of times before. That's not what we're about. We are about health and longevity here. Bingo, boom, thank you, Valerie. So Macrina says, how, can you put links to your suggested products? How long will a person have to be on those supplements? Uh, yeah, I'll put, Macrina, I'll put links in the, the comments below. I did put a link for my book if you wanted to get that. It's in there and I'll post the other ones. How long should a person be on those supplements? That's really dependent. Um, if you tested your bio and everything looks good, I, I think they should stay on it to answer your question. I think they sh it should be a long-term approach. Unless you're eating a lot of bio-rich foods and you have healthy bio production, then you could wean off of them. But if you're eating a lot of healthy fats, I like it as a support to that, right? As a supplementation 
to helping you break down the fats. Um, so it really, it will vary. For me, it's an ongoing thing. Uh, I'll, I'll drink the bitters or I'll have the supplement uh, when I'm eating a lot of healthy fats. A big, I eat a fatty salad every day, so does my Shred Fat Mastermind members. So it'll, it'll depend, like Valerie just said. Yeah, so Steven says blue block blockers. Yeah, so I wear blue blockers at night. I wear swan, Swanic blue blockers, which help filter out the blue light and help me produce melatonin. So I wear them every night. Look, my girlfriend makes fun of me and I look dorky, but hey, it, gets, it helps big time. If you've ever used them, you'll notice that it helps big time. Any other questions for me? I like That was a great question, by the way. I'll make sure to post the links in there. So now that we know about hormones, we can do something about it, right? This is upstream. So Sander says, I've noticed a huge difference since I've started taking them. Yeah, Sander used to have some digestive problems going on. He started taking that with, with something called the Trantil and it just totally helped out big time. Fats are really important. Fats are not the cause of heart disease. Cholesterol is not the cause of heart disease. Inflammation is, okay? Wonky hormones and inflammation lead to heart disease. Steven, are you asking about the blue blockers? I got mine on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon, and, and I'll, I'll put a link for you after I, I shut this down. If you go to Amazon and type in Swanic blue blocker glasses, you can get them on there. There's also a brand called True Dark, which my mentor Dave Asprey talks about, but I never use them. It's a, I think it's really important for people to be eating healthy fats. Okay, your hormones love it when you eat healthy fats. So when you're doing that, it's also important to be able to break them down properly. That's why I talk about bile. That's why so many people go on keto and they struggle. I just recorded a video this morning actually, three reasons why people fail on keto, on the keto diet. One of them is the bile thing, okay? There's a lot of keto experts out there. They're not teaching it the way that I learned it, the way that I teach it, the way that I've been experiencing it in a, in a clinical setting, right? And it, with my clients and with myself. Um, so what I teach is actually going in and out of keto, right? It's, it's what Dr. Pompa taught me, diet variation. And uh, I call it keto flexing is my term. So you go in and out, you burn fat, you burn glucose, but you're primarily burning fat for fuel. When you, when you are doing that, you feel like a rock star. Um, when you are producing ketones, when you are in a state of ketosis, I am right now, you, it's hard to put it in words, but you just feel really good. You have this, this edge to you, you have this mental clarity. If any of you have done keto before and you've been in ketosis, you could relate to what I'm talking about. If I have a presentation that I'm giving, a lecture like this Friday I'm giving a lecture, I'm gonna be in a state of ketosis because I'm gonna crush it when I am. I'm going to a presentation, a health lecture like I was this past weekend in Las Vegas, I'm gonna be in ketosis because I get to listen and focus more. So I'm a big fan of it, as you see. I'm just not a big fan of staying in ketosis. You don't want to stay in there. There's problems that happen when you stay in it too long. Valerie says, I have been on thyroid meds for 20 years. Guess what, guys? I am off them. Doctor assisted. My doctor asked me what I was doing. That's awesome. What you're doing is you're part of my program. That's awesome, Valerie. So Valerie and Sandra and Liliana and Steven and all these uh, uh, members of my Shred Fat Mastermind program, they're getting amazing results. If you want to learn more about that, guys, go to shredfatmastermind.com. I'm actually offering $100 off the membership today. So if you go, you can check it out. That's all I have for you. I really appreciate you sticking with me here. Honestly, I am so grateful for it. Please hit that share button. Let's spread this message to the world. Let's help everybody get healthy hormones. If you didn't claim my book yet, go to fastingcheatsheet.com, get it for free. I have your back. If there's anything I can do for you, just message me. Have yourself a healthy day. Crush it. Be great because nothing else pays.